Lawmakers have eliminated funding for the Recovery Navigator, who is supposed to be developing an economic reopening plan. Gina Mangieri is always investigating. Well, the governor intended to set aside $10 million in federal COVID relief money for the special appointee to carry out the mission. Lawmakers nixed that. The governor tells me the navigator's work is essential. A budget plan showed most of the money in the governor's outline, $9 million of the $10 million would have gone to consultants, and hundreds of thousands would have gone to salaries for Ellen Oshima and others. Oshima was appointed over a month ago to lead a reopening plan, something the state says is not yet ready to reveal. There really wasn't a plan. The plan was only to pay for consultants. The cost of the consultants was definitely a concern, and the fact that a majority of that money would be going out of state. A major concern for us was the fact that we already have Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism. And we have many agencies in that department that could already drive that effort. The governor's office contends his office has the authority to spend the coronavirus relief funds as they see fit. Ige told KHON2 in a statement, the work of the navigator is essential for Hawaii's recovery, and I am committed to supporting the efforts. As for where things stand with the recovery dashboard, lawmakers got a preview of a color-coded readiness framework, ranging from red to orange, yellow to green, that they'd expected the governor to make public by this week. They say they took issue with the colors not corresponding to a written plan for what could be opened under such conditions. Now, I asked when that color and reopening framework and guidance will be released, and I was told today the guidelines are being reviewed. And while no exact date, the hope is next week now. We'll continue to follow up. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.